Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a sketchbook tour. What? Yeah, I think in the last video I said I was gonna do a sketchbook tour. I should sit up straight. So I was gonna do either a sketchbook tour, what's in my backpack, or an intro video. And this is the easiest to film and edit. So, yeah. The joke of the day is what do you call a wandering nun? A Roman Catholic. That was so funny. Actually, it really wasn't. Anyway, this is really weird talking to myself. <sighs> okay, let's get started. So, this is my sketchbook. Good vibes. And this is part one of the sketchbook tour. I'm just going to do 20 pages today. And then, like, another 20 pages while I finish. I actually have more than 20 pages done. Like, more than 20 pages with things on them. But not more than 20 pages of, like finished work really so this is where i'm gonna stop this is 20 pages in right here see because i still have like more stuff after but 20 pages okay my friend made me this sticker okay so morgan sinclair and then some notes from class i'm actually holding the camera right now because you know still don't have a tripod this is me testing out pastels from for uh for a sketch in here I didn't do anything on this page, partially because, like, it's connected a little. But I guess I technically did something on that page, but, like... So, this was on September 1st, 2017. These were on the same day. I was at a, like, grown-up party at this, like, bar place. And it was for my dad's co-worker's husband's promotion party. So I was just sitting out there alone. I thought I'd sketch. I really like these trees. Like these leaves look really nice. And this was a guitar. So this one's not as good. That's the American flag, by the way. But I feel like I definitely got like the like the feel of his face. You know what I mean? Like he looks really. So then here is the Pensacola beach ball. If you don't know, I live in Pensacola. Yeah. And here's a beach ball. This is actually very good. And I was thinking of coloring it. Like, the sizing's very good. Like, everything's pretty proportional. Like, it's that tall. Like, the thing only went here. And then this tree is, like, farther in front. I think the tree needs to be a bit smaller. But everything else is pretty proportional. See? I was, like, practicing how to draw the trees and, like, shading and stuff. And I was going to color it. But I didn't color it. I might color it and then show it in another sketchbook tour. So then, here's a banana. My friend was just like, this is my favorite because it's a banana. I actually signed this, which is like very unlike me. This was done on so I actually, I dated most of these, but not all of them because I was just like, it's not in chronological order anymore. I kind of messed it up after I wanted to like, because sometimes I just do the right side and then I want to do the left side. So I did this one on the bus. So I was talking to my friend, <laughs> nice shade perspective on seats because the way I was sitting, I was sitting diagonally and trying to talk to this girl whilst sketching. So, like, this seat right here needs to be, like, that. And I need to move this. That's, like, this. And then I need to move that up and this down. And then it'll be good. And I, overall, I think it would be a really good, like, actual drawing. Like, this actually looks pretty good. And those lines are pretty. Like, they add some, like, movement. That, like, we were actually, like, moving, like, uh, on a bus. This is, like, the least done page in my sketchbook. I have all the colors in case someone's making them again. I was planning on putting a deer right here and then a bunny and just have it go like up into the sky. But I did not do that because I never made these colors again. Because we started another project in art class. And like I don't like wasting paint so I do sketches in here with that paint. And I never added the deer. But overall I like how the different shades of green, blue... Make it look and it looks like little things and little white flowers and it looks really good and I like the sky like see it says 10 5 17 no end date like I had gone 10 days because this is October 11th and the last one was October 1st I tried to show different emotions but most of them just ended up looking either calm or I guess anxious or like kind of scared and this next one is just a peace sign and it wasn't meant to be the um lgbt flag but like it kind of just turned into the flag but out of order this piece this is my hand this finger i mean it's pretty accurate right like yeah and it's a one-line contour and i like it and i actually signed this one 
And then I did this one on the bus without any reference. So that's kind of like a foot stepping forward. That's like it's bending. And then this one is just kind of standing. They all kind of turned out really weird. I was trying this technique that I saw in a video and it didn't work, but I think I'll try it again. This is blind contour drawing. So black power piece, okay, point, uh, thumbs up and rock star. And it says my nose, I love myself, noise got better as exercise went on because I put the numbers. So I went from one to six. Maybe try more detail next time. There was no next time. Uh, this is a doodle my friend Akilah left in here. This is my granddad. I was sitting in the my dad's truck and I just drew the back of his head. This is actually really good and it looks like him and he really liked it. These are two plants that I saw on my birthday hike. And my granddad, he said, you ain't dressed up unless you got on a beautiful watch. 10, 15, 17. This is the same friend Akila that drew the doodle. This is the back of her. So at first I was drawing her like sitting down. These are cover ups by the way. Not like, at first I was drawing her like sitting down in the chair, but then I said, I'll just draw her standing up. It's her long hair and the pockets are like not big enough. But yeah, I really like it. So in my video, I think, uh, good to be home. This is the Bontura home. I meant to add like the brick detailing, but I kind of just like it like this. I mean, it's really simple. I'm not going to come back to it and redo it. I mean, this is what, 10, 18, 17, 2. Yeah, I'm not going to come back to it. These is what I was using the pastels in the beginning for, like to get this sunset right. And it's, ba it's basically aerial. Like I tried to do a blonde one, but then it's a sunset. So the hair would blunt in with the sunset so yeah i really like it the tail turned out kind of weird i was trying to do like scales and like a ombre type thing but it just turned out kind of muddled and then here's that necklace i think that she gets maybe in the second or the third one or maybe the daughter gets it but i just added a necklace so it wouldn't just be bra and skin yeah i really like it this is it my first pastels like in this sketchbook this is like a buffer page. This is one of the unfinished things. These were my teeth before braces. This is like highly accurate. If I show you the picture and put it right next to here, like the lip shape, it's it's great. I just really, all I need to do is on the bottom once. But yeah, this is good. And then I did this while I was waiting for like an hour and a half for my dad to come pick me from school. And I did this one. It's just a flower. And I used my, this is when I had first gotten my uh, Prismacolor blending pencil. So, you know, I was getting super, super high. And I used blue on these parts to make it darker and like yellow in this part to make it, oh my God, lighter. And then I blended it and it turned into like, I think a poppy maybe. I don't really know. Flowers. It only took me, oh, one day. Good job. I was sitting in the car waiting for my dad to get from work. And I ended up just trying to sketch the building where he works and I just wrote oops because I couldn't get this right and it kind of looks like it's in but really this corner is coming this way not that way so whatever this is my grandma like this is it looks like her it's just this part looks weird because I tried to she kept moving right and like but she didn't know I was drawing her so I couldn't be like oh, stop so I can draw you and then when she realized I was drawing her she didn't want me to so it just it, the whole thing happened. This is the grandma that's married to the granddad that I drew. But overall, I mean, it pretty much looks like her except for like this part. But the rest of it looks the same. And I, it's really hard to get in the three fourths view or like uh, two thirds view kind of with the lips and stuff. But I definitely wish that I wouldn't have drawn these so deep and I would have blended them more. But I don't think I had my blending sticks with me. I think I just had like the rough tortillons, but not the stumps. And then uh, this is just a warm up. Like I did a warm up in pencil and a warm up in pen. I actually did this warm up yesterday before I drew um, my friend Jimmy. And then while we were sitting in the car to do so this is my mom. I know, right? I just tried to draw like everything else about her. I got a book about sketching people, so I can definitely use that as a reference. 
And then this is just me kind of practicing one point perspective. This train should definitely be smaller, but I really like the clouds and the the bicycle. Just this needs to be farther done. But other than that, I really like this one. The trees are cute. This is also my mom. And like you can tell a real big difference between this one and this one. This one's a lot more proportional. That's a phone. This is a girl that had a tablet and she was like her back was on the couch but her head was on the shoulder rest and then her knees were hanging off it was a very awkward angle for me to draw and I was sitting right in front of her this is the table I think I had my blending stumps then because this is like oh no that must have been my finger because it's not that well blended this is a no this is no reference because no reference but it's still it looks really weird and then this one I just I did a squiggle and I added the pencil marks I was really bored weird yeah this is like the sun and then the valley and lamp and a person. I think this was going to be a sketch to turn into a sketch to turn into a drawing, but that never happened. So then here's the city that I made. And, and every time someone would like ask to see my sketchbook, they'd see this one back. Like, oh my gosh, I like it so much. But the whole time I was doing it, I did not like it. The only part that I really like, I really like this sign. And like this side's all right, but like this, I really like this side. This side's a lot more detailed. I feel like the lines are straighter maybe, but I messed up the perspective. Like see here, 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 needs to go like on a, on a this way angle, but it looks weird. And also this road should be more this way and less like up into the sun. But I really like these clouds. I really, I kind of, I did it with pencil and then I just like scribbled over it. This is Georgia the giraffe. I thought of making her shirt red, but I didn't. And Georgia's so cute. Look at Georgia. This is, this is, I was really proud of this one when I made it. And notice how the dates went away. So this was a plan for my project for history fair. We got second place at school, but didn't place it all at districts, but it's fine. It's really uh, this is my room, but not really. Like, this whole part is ac 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 accurate. But, like, this to here is accurate. This is on the wall near my door, and this is on top of my dresser. This lamp is actually from my childhood room. It's not even in this room. This poster is over my bed. This beanbag is in front of my bed. This is not a cat. This is not a weird dog. This is a blanket that isn't even in my room anymore. And there's no blanket on top of this chair. I put this on my bookshelf. It's it's not accurate anymore. That's my viola and that's my guitar. And there's no random string hanging off of it, like, at all. Here is another pastel, oops, pastel drawing. I really like this one. I like the clouds. I tried to do the purple clouds that were, like, in the deer drawing, but actual. Here's another. This was the warm-up for this pastel. And then I drew this one, let's see, this is actually a few days ago, on March 2nd. This is my friend Jacob, he was standing while he was waiting to say his lines. The only thing that's really wrong with this, like, I like how I actually tried to get the folds right and things, and, like, I got his hair and his neck, and everything's, like, pretty much proportional. I, I My friend told me to draw the body before the clothes, but I can't really see his body because he wears loose clothes. The only thing that's really wrong with this is the shoes, and then this is the floor, so, like... I was sitting down and he was standing up and he's really tall, but I was still trying to get the floor. And this is the chair just to add like proportion to it because this chair is proportional to his body, but this isn't like proportional to his body. But it's it's great. This is I really like this one just because I was actually trying and yeah, these are awkward scribbled. But yeah, you can see his elbow bent here and then down here. The arms are are like if we just cover it up and do it again it'll be fine so this i has still haven't blended yet but like it looks i think i might just leave it like this i'll probably blend it but just leave the eyes white so this started out as a as a just doodles and then i tried to make it into a tree that's why there's like super small ones over here but then i just said hey why don't we just make it old timey hair and that's what i did and i really like the hair i really like it so then this one, it's just like, I was really, really bored in class. And this is what happened. And then this one, I really like, because I was practicing all my lines and all the fishes look cool. That's it.
Thank you for watching. Please like this video, comment, and subscribe. Good vibes, everyone. Good vibes. And see you next week with another new video.